I'm Cynthia Murray and President and CEO of North Bay Leadership Council. We at North Bay Leadership Council support the Dutra project because we are very concerned about creating local jobs and we know that this will bring good local jobs. We also are very interested in improving transportation and having a local source of aggregate is extraordinarily important to help keep the costs down, helping reduce the taxpayers' cost especially, and of making the projects be done in a more timely fashion. And as we're trying to find the money to do the Marin Sonoma Narrows widening and the SMART project, we know that getting that aggregate at the best possible cost locally will really help move those projects forward. And we also think that this project has been uh, compromised in a way that they have tried to come up with the best environmentally sensitive project that is allowable and is doable. So we support this project. We think it really will help bring prosperity to the southern part of our county, and we really hope it goes forward very, very soon. Hi, my name is Heidi Rhymes with Moms for Clean Air. The air pollution from the proposed project plus the hundreds of diesel trucks per day for this operation will release hazardous chemicals in the, into the air that could cause impacts to our health and the health of our children and the community as a whole. The project will create a huge concentration of diesel particulate matter in this area. DPM has been linked to heart disease, asthma, and diabetes. NOx emissions has also been exceeded in this area for this project, and these have been linked to breast cancer. This location would expose people in surrounding homes, schools, and neighborhoods to this pollution. It would also expose the people going to Schollenberger Park every day to this pollution. To this, pollution. this includes mothers that are pregnant, children at, at public school trips, the elderly, and other portions of our vulnerable population. Further, we do not welcome a company with such an undisputed record of environmental destruction. This location is next to a public park, is adjacent to protected wetlands, and is a historic landmark. It's not appropriate for this type of industrial use, and it is not zoned for it. Let's not allow our county's general plan to be amended for this project. The approval can and should be overturned. Please go to www.momsforcleanair.net to learn how to help. Thank you. Hello, I'm Al Cornwell with CSW Stuber Stroll. We are the civil consultants for the Dutra Group. Why is Petaluma, Petaluma need an asphalt plant? Everyone that drives a car, rides a bike, or walks on a path benefits from asphalt. Having a local source of the stuff is, sim is simply logical and green. Petaluma needs to fix its roads. The Sonoma Marin Narrows Highway and Bike Path Project are only two of the multitude of reasons to have a local source of asphalt. This plant is cleaner and greener than any other plant in Sonoma or within range of delivering asphalt to Petaluma. Using asphalt from this plant will remove the equivalent of 64 cars every day of every year. The plant has been studied and no health risks have been found. If you are truly for sustainable local sources of material, then this plant makes total sense. Hello, I'm Joan Cooper. I'm the founder and spokesperson for Friends of Schollenberger Park. There are over 3,000 petitions that have been sent to the county opposing the Dutra asphalt plant. The city uh, population and the city government is overwhelmingly opposed to this project. There is no economic upside for the town. We cannot rely on Dutra to self-monitor, and we hope that an impartial judge will uh, find in our favor and show that this no longer river-dependent operation should be located elsewhere, if at all. Dutra is no longer river-dependent because their barging location was found to be hazardous. It's the location of two high-pressure PG&E uh, transmission pipes, as well as too narrow for barging. So Dutra will be buying its ag aggregate elsewhere and trucking it in. So the crux of the lawsuit is to preserve and protect the environment and Schollenberger Park, which is the most popular park in Petaluma with over 150,000 visitors a year.